Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I thought today I would do a essential or what you should have in your closet as basic. First thing I would like to start with is a basic or structured black dress. This one is mid length, it's from Zara. So it's not only a good workwear piece but a good night out piece also. The next piece is, again, this is an older piece, and that's what I mean about a basic or essential piece in your closet. It's pieces that you can have in your closet, you're in and you're out, and that it's not going to look dated or out of style. You can wear them no matter what the trend. Again, this is a pencil skirt. There's two plain zippers on the side. They're not actual pockets, they're just zippers and one main zip in the back, and there is a slit in the front. The next piece is a blazer. Now, for me, a black blazer structured, nipped at the waist, is best on me because of my height and because it will cinch in the smaller part of my body. This one, again, is from Zara, and this one is about six years old. As you can see, it is in good condition. And the reason I like this blazer is because of the buttons. The buttons are black also. There's no metal to it, so you can accessorize it with any kind of metal jewelry that suits your lifestyle. The next thing is a white button-up shirt. Now, whether this be your boyfriend's button-up shirt your own, just find yourself a very casual white t-shirt. This one is new in my closet. It's from something navy um, and I thought this white blouse would be perfect in my wardrobe. I have several different. I have from Old Navy, from Zara, I mean ASOS do um, some good quality ones. H&M do some really nice button up for really inexpensive. This one was a little bit more expensive, but you can tell it in the quality of the shirt. It's a little see-through, but you find your white shirt would do you wonders. Then comes a basic t-shirt. Now this one obviously is not basic. This is a Christian Dior um, t-shirt. This retails for about $480, 380 480 um, so it's a little bit expensive, but again, it's going to be an investment that will be in your closet day in and day out. As you can tell, there's just one little logo over here that's black. There's a big logo in the back, but again, black, very simple. So this t-shirt can be dressed up or dressed down, but a casual white t-shirt is another basic or essential piece that you can have in your closet that can take you from day to night, from work to drinks with your girlfriends. And another piece, this one also is a newer piece in my wardrobe. It is from Zara. It's a black pants, but this one has a twist to it. It is tapered at the leg, so it is more of a mom fit. So it gives it a little bit of interest when you dress it up with a simple shirt. There's no belt loops to it. So, um, so yeah, a good black pants will take you again from day to evening, from casual to dressed up. The other piece is a short. So a good short is essential in my closet. It is a staple piece in my closet. I usually like them very simple, not too short, not too long, um, and preferable with pockets. Are from Zara, and again, they're a very old piece. And the last piece is a pair of denim at the house. Now denim, you can dress it up with a blazer, you can dress it down again with a t-shirt and tennis, or for girls night out or a date you can wear some stiletto heels with it and a blazer black blazer with a lacy top and you would have a great 
evening wear. So a good pair of denim is essential in your closet. This one is from H&M. Um, it is a stretchy material. I tend to go for stretch just because I have hips. So anyway, let's get to the styling. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see me. So I'm wearing my basic um, black dress. As I said, it was a midi dress on me. It is from Zara. I don't know if you can see the zip in the back. And I paired it with some black pumps. And I would pair it with my Chanel bag. And if you work in a more conservative job where this might be a little too much, your arms being exposed might be too much, or the dress is a little too tight to your body, you can wear the black blazer over. So here is another of the pieces that I talked about in the basic for your or staple or essential in your closet. The white button-up shirt. As I said, it's pretty sheer. It's pretty see-through, but with a good black bra, you can't you can't see anything. And the blouse or the button-up can be pulled up. And I paired it again with the same black heels. And I would pair it with the same Chanel classic flat back. And if you want to make it even more business like, you can pair the same black blazer. We're going to take it in a more casual way. We're going to use the same top, the same blazer, but we're going to pair it with jeans. Now, this is the look. Now, just for reference, as I told you guys, I'm 4'11". As much as I would like to wear my shirt tucked out it just makes me look frumpy it makes me look like I didn't try um, it looks way too casual and it shortens me it makes my legs look a lot shorter than they are so tucking in your shirt in your shirt as I said makes me look like I'm more put together I took the effort and also knowing your body shape and knowing what works for you is a key to how you shop for your clothes. As you can see, I went with a tighter jeans and you might see the wrinkle here because I'm wearing biker shorts underneath, which I shouldn't, but um, I'm wearing it for the sake of this video because I was changing really quick. But yeah, I'm wearing these tighter jeans that cut me at a very flattering angle, at the smallest part of my feet, which elongates me with these high heels, these pointed heels. Again, my jacket nips me at my waist, and because I left a couple of buttons open, it draws the eyes upward to my face, and makes me look like I am taller than I am. Again, I would wear this with the same bag. And obviously, you can take off the jacket.
We are. So I am wearing this white cotton shirt from Dior. Um, and again with the same jeans. But I switched out my shoes for my tennis shoes, flat tennis shoes. Now this is what you'll find me most usually on the weekend when I'm with my kids, taking them to the park or going out, running around with them. This is my day-to-day -day wear. Um, very simple, very classic. And again, I didn't tuck in the shirt, but you could. And this is just a very casual way to look um, more put together. You can wear this blazer over it. And again, it's about having pieces in your closet that you can add stuff to that can complete an outfit. Your basic, the staple essential in your closet should be able to, you should be able to add to this. This is just your foundation. This is what you're going to use as a foundation. And little by little, you can add pieces. You can add any kind of button-up shirt with this, any kind of top with this. Same thing with the jeans, same thing with the blazer. Shorts. The dress, you can wear a cardigan over it. You can wear a shirt with puffy sleeve coming out underneath it so that it looks like a different dress. You can wear um, stockings with them, high heels, boots. So your foundation or the basic of your closet should be stuff that you can add other clothes to them. This is what you're going to start off with. And little by little, you're going to start filling up your wardrobe. Let's go to the next. So here we have the same t-shirt, Dior t-shirt, and the pants, tailored pants from Zara. And they're a little bit oversized, so they're not tight fitting. And again, this is a look you can go to work with. You can probably go out to dinner. It's a very basic, and again, you can layer. You can add stuff to this. You can add a blazer, a cardigan, another button-up shirt that's open, or that you just see this white part of your collar on. Um, you can add a jeans jacket to this to make it look more casual. So. Your basic, as I said, I know I keep repeating myself, but it is something that you have in your closet that you can add stuff to, that you can build upon. So if you wanted, you can make this into a pantsuit and add, again, your same black blazer. And there you have it. You have a pantsuit with two separates. Yes, this is a more casual outfit. It's for running errands. Paired it with my sneakers. Anyway, I hope if you stayed this long, you subscribe, like this video. Hope you found something useful in this video something that can help you start your own basic wardrobe your own essential wardrobe and yeah please like and comment subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next one bye